Hey guys, welcome to another video on Haven and Hearth, but yours truly. In this one, we are going to tame a sheep. If we can catch said sheep. There he is right there. So the first things about taming, you need a couple things before you go do it. You need to, number one, to start with at least a rope, and you need a four-leaf clover. So... Hopefully you've got both of these and you have no big issue with getting them. Then you have to go find a sheep or a cow or a boar. Um, unless you've got a high UA, I wouldn't highly advise messing with boars. But you right click the clover on the animal. As you can see, he'll freak out, and stop, and then he'll eventually come charging in at you a little bit. and He'll move around and go crazy. And hopefully he'll eventually come in. Sometimes they won't. The closer you get to him, the better, the, the quicker it goes. Had I waited until he stopped and then I got up next to him and then right clicked the clover on him, it would have instantly turned him. But there he goes. He's coming in. Come on in a little bit more. Come on. Come on, big fella. Come get it. Come on. This is also how you get wool starting out is you use a clover on these sheep and then when they come up to you and then they take your thing if he does if the time don't wear off come on come get it come get it you can uh after you give them a clover you can then you can then shear them you can right click him and it'll say uh collect wool or cut suck cut wool or whatever it is come on sheep come get it There we go. Here he comes. One more time. There we go. Then you grab your rope and you right click on the sheep with your rope. And as you see down there, well, you probably won't see it because I'll have it blocked. Down here, it'll say leashed animal. So now that animal is leashed. You put the rope back in your inventory and then you can walk around and it'll follow you. Now you need to lead him home. When you get home, you have to prepare also. So let me see where I'm at. All right, I need to start heading south. And you can, he'll last, he'll stay on this leash until you either log out or put the, the uh, rope down. He'll stay on this leash, for, you know, for the whole way home. So you don't have to worry too much about it. Let me hit control G so that I can get north to north. There we go. I use that control G to line up my camera so that I know that I'm going the right way. I am using the Amber client and I've got the uh, camera rotation unlocked. Oh, there's another sheep. If I had another, uh, let's walk because we're out of stamina. Oh, there's a mountain here. Let's see if we can't find us a, uh, another clover right in here. If we can find another clover, you can lure two, three, four, doesn't matter. If you've got the clover to tame them, I don't have a clover to tame him right now. I'm really, really hoping that a clover pops up over here, though, so I can grab a clover. I wasn't expecting to see two. I would love to take two home with me, though. Come on, game. Be nice to me for once. It's been a long time since you've done anything nice to me. No clovers. I'm walking through one of these areas, and these areas have a chance to spawn clovers. So... Yeah, he's there, but I can't do nothing with him. Now I'm looking. He's actually relatively close to the house. So if I can get this guy home. Just kind of watch and see what direction he's kind of moving. He's kind of moving up and to the left, up and to the right, so northeast. We'll, uh, oh, there's a, no, that's mine. Never mind. I was going to say, dang, there's another sheep. But no, it's the one that I'm, I'm tallying back home. I actually... Yeah, we're uh, still uh, quite a bit away from the house. But I'm going to come back and try and see if he's still there. I'm going to get off the wall. But this little guy will just follow you. And he'll run around trees and anything else that he needs to run around to stay up with you. And he'll do a fairly good job. Every once in a while he'll get pinned. And if he gets pinned, then you just have to... Uh, you have to go back and uh, set him loose. But I'll see you guys here in a moment when I get to the house. I'm not going to make you watch me walk all the way home. So I'll be right back. All right, folks. So we're back at the house. And this is what you do next. You need to have one of these built. If you don't have one built, 
while you've got the sheep tethered to you with the uh, with the rope, you can make one. And in order to make one, you go to build. You go to building and construction, and it's right there. It's called hitching post. Now, we'll lay one down just so that you can see the materials. It's one board, one rope, and four uh, blocks of wood. They're really easy to make. They're really cheap to make. The only thing is it takes 10 string and a rope twister or a rope maker in order to make the rope. So make sure that you've got at least one of those built and then a rope also extra to go grab them because you need a rope to leash them and move them around and this, that, and the other. So this one's not tamed yet. That's a tamed one. This is a non-tamed one. So what you do is he's leashed to me via this rope. Now, if I lay this rope down on the ground, it'll unleash him. I can then pick the rope up. He'll go off and do his own thing, you know, whatever. But what you want to do is you want to take the rope and you want to click it on, a, on one of these uh, leashing post thingies that is not being occupied by another animal. And that's the one that I've got that's free. And it'll tell you down here in the bottom left-hand corner, tethered animal. And that means that he, he's no longer following me. He's now tethered to that, uh, to that hitching post. So right now I've got all my guys, all of these cows and sheep are all tethered to these different tethering posts. These two right here are tethered to the first two. This brown one and this brown one, which are the wild oxen, they're tethered to the third and the fourth one. This guy, I just tethered to the fifth one. And this guy, he's already tethered to the sixth one. I wanted the last two to be sheep. So I'm going to put two more of these down, and then I'm going to go find two more sheep. And then I'm going to bring them back. I'll probably go back and try and find that other one. I don't know. We'll see. Um... But that's all of this video that I could do right now because any time between the next 8 hours and 30 hours, they, uh, the animals will be ready to, do their, to receive their first tame. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go over the information necessary. That way I can then just come back. I can show you how to beat them, um, how to be safe and make sure that you, you put it on, on let them flee and or whatever it is, give up. It's got a name, surrender, whatever. Um, Yield, I think it's yield is what it's actually called. But uh, anyhow, you need to, uh, a lot of people say, I've read Seven's Guide, I've read many other guides online, and they're all wrong. You know, not necessarily in full wrong, but the portions about the majority of taming is in its own way inaccurate, is the best way to say. They're not wrong, but they're inaccurate. Um, because most guides that you read are going to tell you 24 hours. Every 24 hours you get a chance to fight them again. And uh, then you can, uh, you can beat them into submission and, and blah, blah, blah. The truth of the matter is, is that yesterday, or day before yesterday, I tamed the two cows. Um, I, brought the, or I, I brought the two cows back in a couple days ago. And I had one cow. And then day before yesterday, I got another cow. And I brought that other cow back, and I tamed, I tied, had him tied, t hitched up too. Well, I got back on. I mean, he had been hitched up for maybe seven hours, eight hours, and I got back on, and he was already bowed down, ready to fight. Now I thought it was the first cow that I had tamed, but you can tell which cow it is when you go to hitch them back to the post. Because if I grab this one and try and hitch him to this other cow's post, it won't let you. Whenever you fight a cow or you try to tame, do the taming session on the cow, the towel becomes unhitched from his post once you engage in combat. So at, no matter what happens, whether win or lose, you still have to get a rope and you have to repacify that cow and then hook him back to the, uh, to the post. You can't just, you know, okay, I beat him, that's it. No, you have to go release him and then hook him back, tether him back to the post and then wait for the next attempt. Um, we will go over this a lot more in depth as we uh, as they get ready, though. So I'll be back in eight to twenty-four hours. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome to a the, the second thing. We're back, and the we have a cow and a sheep now ready to tame. Uh, as you can see, I've went and found a couple more. Uh, somebody actually brought another sheep in. I don't know who it was, but we've got one. We're happy about that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the taming process for both. Again, I am wearing the same gear that I have been wearing in all of my, my little video things. As you can see here, I've got the Lynx cape on, which is unnecessary. I've got the Strength Talisman, which is unnecessary. i got the armor. I've got the, uh, the chest, rather, the legs. 
the uh, boots, and then I've got the Badger's Hide vest, which is also unnecessary. It's good to have, but they're unnecessary. Um, as long as you've got the three-piece armor set, the boots, the pants, and the chest, you should be all right with these. Anywhere over 40, you know, I say 40 again. Um, some of the guides will say, you know, 35 will, will suffice, but for safety's sake, it's better to do it at 40. And with about 35 to 45 agility, you'll be okay. Um, we're just going to go straight into it. I find it easier to just do that. Now, the way that these fights boil down, you'll see the first thing that I have to do once you start a fight is you have to click on the yield button up here in the top left-hand corner where you see me moving the mouse. It'll appear right up there next to the portrait of what you're fighting. Uh, you click that, and what that means is that you will stop fighting, you will stop hitting, you will stop doing anything as soon as that character yields. Uh, with these guys, it's very important that you make sure that you click that because you, you just have to be really careful. If you hit them one more time after they yield, they'll reinitiate combat with you and you will literally have to kill them. So you don't want to have to do that. So make sure that you click them. What I like to do is click them, get them coming at me. I'll build up my defenses, and then I'll go up there and click that. And then keep reapplying my defenses, and then just start punching the heck out of them. So here we go. Uh, let's get two up. Let's get four up. Let's get five up. Let's get two back up. Now I'll click that. And we'll get five up again. And now I'm just going to start punching. So get two. We're going to hit three, three, we're going to get two up, five up, and then four up, and then two up, and then we're just going to hit three. We're just, I'm just keeping my defenses up, as you can see. I mean, that's, that's all I'm doing here. He's got two IP, so he's going to hit me with a yellow attack. Watch, that yellow's going to come down. All right, let's go with five. And then three. He's at 173 damage on him already. He's about to surrender. As you can see, that turned blue up there. And there, he surrendered. So once he surrenders, he gives. And then he'll walk away from you like that. You need to get your rope back. You need to then walk over to him. You click on your rope. You click on him, and you'll go lasso him. Come back here, cow. Come on, buddy. And then you have to go find out whichever post he belongs to. Because I got so many. I know the first two tamed ones go on these two posts. You don't have to be too concerned with it. If you try, it'll tell you if something's already using the post. So you can just come down here like so. Zoom in. You can try another post. And that's the post that he belonged to. All right, so we've got another sheep out here that's ready to be fought. Now, you saw how quick and easy that guy was. Because these guys, their attacks come quite a bit slower than these sheep. Now, these sheep, as you're about to see, they're a little bit faster. They don't hit as hard, but they're a little bit faster. So, let's go with it. We're going to click up there, and we're going to get that going. See, now this guy is so much faster. But we're just going to keep punching. I'm going to get to where I can see his, his things. And then we're going to go five. And then we're going to go three. And then we're going to go five a couple times. That time he hit me. He hit me for about 35 there. So you got to be a little bit more careful. These guys are a little bit faster. But he's close to giving up. But that was because I got clumsy. There, he gave up already. So now we can click on this fella and leash him. And then we'll take this guy over here. And he hit me for a little bit. As you can see, I took a little bit of damage from that guy. And it happens. It happens. It's not the end of the world. One, two, and then we've got three cows, so one, two, three. So this guy goes on either this one. Oh, wait, one, two. Then we have, what, four cows out here? Or do we got three now? Three. One, two, then one, two, three. Somebody built another thingy. All right, well, that's fine. So we'll try and stick him on here, and that's where he goes. 
At least that's where he goes now. Because it wouldn't have let me hook him to it if there was uh if there wasn't if something was assigned to it. You'd get the message like you did last time. Now what you have to do is you have to do that three times, approximately. Now, so far for them ones that I've got there, I only had to do it for about three times each. On the third attempt, successful attempt, they do this little puffy green or purple, pinkish, whatever, puff of bluish pink smoke or whatever. And then they become the darker colored or the white sheep, if it's the sheep, darker color if it's a cow. And at that point, you just have to come up to them. And then if you right click them, you can go to inspect and it'll tell you what they are. It tells me that this is a bull, its name's Bessie, but we can rename it. So we might name him Brutus. And Brutus, we can hit enter. And Brutus has stats, essence, and all the substance, vitality, meat quantity. All this stuff's 10 and the meat quality is 100%. This is all meat quality, milk quantity, uh, quality, and hide quality and breeding quality is all based off the satiety, satiety, whatever it is, this word right here. It's all based on how well you've fed them, how well you've taken care of them. Now, I've got all these animals around here. We had 333 yesterday. We've got 325 now. So they've only eaten eight units of food, and that's eight carrots or eight of any type of food that you would have put in here. Now, the quality of their babies, when they have babies and the quality of the stuff like that, all depends on the quality of the food that you're putting in the trough. So if you're putting in, you know, low quality, seven, eight, nine, and stuff like that, quality vegetables, then it's going to lower the quality of the calves and the, and the quality of the products that come out of them. So you need to make sure that you're putting in there at least above the quality of the animal products you know if you've got these cows these are all going to be 10 10 10 that's how they start so it's their babies when they have a baby then that baby has a chance to get that bonus uh, so you want to make sure that you are putting in there anything above that you know 10 12 14 16 i've got a bunch of of crops now that are all in the 14s the 15 to 25 range or so and i put that stuff in here and that's what they've all been eating pretty high quality stuff so that's that. All right, and that's pretty much taming. Like I said, you do that three times. I'm not going to wait a whole nother day to let you see the pretty little puff of them changing. So uh, basically you do what I just did three times and it tames. And you have to follow every step that I did. You have to make sure that when you start fighting with them, you get your defenses up. Then you click up there in the top right-hand corner. And you click that little swords icon so that it turns blue. That way you're in, you're in allowing them to yield mode. And then you keep your defenses up. You don't have to hurry through the tame. Keep your defenses up. Be as careful as you can. I got a little rambunctious with a sheep. And he ended up doing like 25 damage to me. You don't have to do that. I could have taken my time, and instead of trying to punch him four times in a row and getting hit, I could have just brought my other two defenses up, and he never would have hit me. But instead, I just kept punching, you know, because I was trying to hurry, and, you know, I just got a little careless, and that's what happens. Now, as far as to when you can fight them, when you can, you know, basic, basically knock them back into submission, it is varied. A lot of people will say every 24 hours, and that's garbage. Because I just chained these guys up uh, about 18 hours ago. So I'm fighting them, and it's only been like 18 hours. Uh, I, I could come back in another six or eight hours, and that bull might be ready. That cow or that sheep might be ready to go again. I don't know when. It's anywhere, I'm guessing, just, just a guess here, I would start checking after about eight hours, and then I would check every four to six hours thereafter until you fight them. That's what I do. I, I go and play other games, or I do other stuff that I have to do, checking on them about every four to six hours, and if one of them's ready, I then knock him back into submission, grab the rope, reattach him back to the little uh, post, because after you tame them, if you don't, ta if you don't release them, and hook them back to the post, they'll wander off. You have to remember that you have to release them and reattach them back to the post. That's why you always keep this rope around, and that's why, as you see here, I'm putting it back now. I always leave this rope out here in a crate. This is going to be where all my animals and my trees and stuff are. So I haven't made it pretty yet, but that's what it's for. It's going to be for. 
Um, yeah, so that's Taming in a Nutshell. Hope that you guys enjoyed it. Now, there's one thing that we didn't show Taming, and that's of boars. Taming boars is supposedly easier than killing boars. I have not done it yet. I didn't put it in this video because of that. Uh, but it is handled in exactly the same manner. You use the four-leaf clover, you go up to the boar, you, you use it on him, and then you leash him, and you bring him home, and you then beat him three times, and he'll tame. But the difference is, between these and boars, is that ev when you first do the initial four-leaf clover onto a boar, he has a chance to attack you. It's a very low chance, but he does have a chance that he could possibly attack you. So you have to be aware of that and be ready for that. So don't try to tame boars until you can kill them. Because he, you might be the unlucky one that get that boar that, that wants to turn on you and attack you. And you get knocked out. You get a couple heavy attacks. You know, a couple deep wounds or the uh, whatever the big cuts are that require actual bandages and stuff like that. And you just better to avoid all that stuff. So, all right, folks, that's Taming. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you learned something. If you have any questions, be sure and post you know, something in the comment. And uh, when I do actually tame a boar, I will record the taming of it, and I will throw it up here in a little snippet video, an addendum to this, I guess, per se. And uh, I'll even add a little link down here somewhere in the video that this is where you can click, you know, right down here, um, that you can click here to go see how to tame a boar. All right, guys. Y'all have a great day. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and have a great day.